the news of Blue Estate's demise had a devastating impact on Don Luciano. Clarence, now the time for trickery is past. We must send them a message. Don Luciano, all due respect, we had an understanding. I'm about to do Clarence, some- Clarence, you listen to me. You don't say a word. I'm in mourning today. A member of my family was taken from me. So be very careful what you say next. Tell me what you need me to do, Don Luciano. The Don had made Clarence an offer he couldn't refuse. He wanted the boss killed in front of his whole family. The Europeans rented a golf course in Poodle Springs. For a bachelor party and the boss was making a rare appearance. The only problem was that no one in the Luciano family had ever seen his face. Clarence was done with Lino and Moro's intel, so he came up with a new plan to send one of their hostage cousins to point him out. How am I supposed to make out our guy? Roger that, Clarence. <sighs> Blackhawk will be wearing a pin on his right. coat. Right. A pin. I'll give a shout if Roger I need to. Roger that. Over the party's two clicks. I know Where that feel, girl. Tiny dogs were a big accessory for the wives and lady friends of the Eastern European mob set. And the theme for this party was bunnies. Tiny, fluffy. We couldn't spring for some snipers? or a military op. This is Dispatch. Dispatch? Groundhog? Uh, it's a code name. <sighs> Where the hell is my target? It should be somewhere as near you. We told him, meet you at the south edge of the party zone. Morrow, try and locate Blackhawk for Groundhog here. Let me know. I've never seen a party like this one. I mean, the level of in... This is Dispatch. I see the Black Hawk. He's by a white tent. Get him, come on. They're all white tents. Can you see me? He's just waiting. Uh, he's down. Black Hawk down. Black that Hawk was down. Him? Oh, this is bad. He didn't tell me what he had on. The Don's gonna kill us. We'll never find the boss now. Oh, God. Use your binoculars. Done, you see anyone finished. under heavy guard? Give me oh, a second, Clarence. Oh, I'm looking here. Oh, we're done. Maro, we're finished. Oh, this is bad. Christ. Oh. I'll figure it out. What is this? All these chickens ever
Yeah. Why don't you answer? I'm a little busy. You find the guy? Even better. We came up with a plan. That doesn't sound good. Hey, you killed the first plan, tough guy. We're trying to do the best we can here. All right, all right. Tell me what you're thinking. We've seen one of them giant cakes come through. The kind that has a girl in sight. If that boss is any kind of man, he ain't missing that. And? We'll think of something while you get to that cake. It's in a tent down the middle, my catering. All right, I'm in the tent. You find the boss? Here's the plan. Infiltrate that cake. What? Just get inside. They're about to move it. How do you know he'll be there? Wouldn't you be? Right. And then you pop out, boom, boom, and you show them cake is bad for you. Hey, let fiddling. Pow! Right in the mouth. Gonna trust you on this. Give me a minute to process that. I'm a special surprise guest. Groom's an old buddy. He's gonna love it. All right, Sugar, you ready? You better believe it. Here we go. When you hear the drum roll, that's your cue, okay? I got it. My client, Sherry Pops, was one of the best cake girls in the country. She could pop out of a cake like a... I hope you're ready, because it's time. Uh, I think I see him. Think? Here we go. Hey, uh, he's the guy, he's the guy in the track suit. Uh, uh, no, not that one. I think he's got he's got dark hair. That's no good empty. Great, you do it good. That's pretty good, but that's not the guy. Uh, uh, okay, okay, no, this guy might know what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, maybe he's near the pool. That place is slugging the broads. Maybe one broad in a cake wasn't enough for the big boss. Do you want to hear again about any cakes?
dog. Beat it up. Two drunken guys are about to rain grenades down on your head, Clarence. Focus on finding the boss. You're in the range of their six irons. wasn't here. Give me some news, Mauro. Gotta get to the pool. It's just behind the, uh, that, uh, them bushes. The thicket. I'll cut through. One of California's most luxurious golf courses had turned into an Eastern European hellscape. Grenades, barbecues, men with thongs. left is the parking lot, and it's just behind your position. Find the guy. I'll wrap this up.
seen a guy get in. That's gotta be Kokashku, but the, the boss, huh? Like a hundred Euro trash books went in there with them. Gotta be the guy. On it. Don't lose it. Ain't nice to lose it no more. Come on, team full of lead. Got stuck on the speed bump. Get over there before they finagle their way off that thing. Watch my back till the job's done. Roger, over. Now remember, this is a message. One in his brain, two in the chest. I don't need help doing what I do. Just watch my back so no one shoots the messenger. Stay strong, girl. You talk to dogs, huh? Now you die like a dog, 49. What's that mean, 49? 49 is you. 49 little killers visit Kokoshkov. 49 stories ending just like this. What will you say, 49? I will remember your last words. At 66 years old, Mr. David of Los Angeles made the best drive of his life, but lost his golf ball. It was later found in the skull of the infamous gangster, Kostika K the boss. Oh, did you get him? Well, he's dead, but no, it was an accident. Ah, oh, Christ. Christ! Oh, no, Christ. Oh, this is bad. We gotta call the boss. Uh, Clarence saved his mom. He'd risen overnight to be one of the most important enforcers in the Luciano Empire. He'd even found Blue Estate. Alive, even. He was a hero among killers. And he was riding off, away from the Luciano family forever. Well, hopefully.
Uh, Antonio, it's your father, please. I won't stop calling. I know we had our complications, but you're my only son. You're the whole world to me. I lost the horse. You're all I got left. It is piace, Antonio. I'm sorry. Your money's back in your accounts. Just come home, and we can start again, please. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages at this time. The Don had left a string of messages, and Tony, thinking his father was still angry, hadn't listened to a single one. Tony thought he'd hit rock bottom in Jamaica, spending his days at the bar with a line of empty coconuts in front of him when he met Alyosha. Alyosha claimed he worked for a Russian biofuel company, and hidden nearby was a seed that could revolutionize energy in Europe. If Tony could get that seed, Alyosha would make him a partner. Finally, Tony had found someone who respected his skills and appreciated him. Totally a job with global implications and big-time money, too. But when they got to the plant, it looked a lot like it was for something else. That don't look like no science plant! What are you, a botanist? We can make a lot of money with plant, Tony. It is necessary only to escape. Oh man, they hadn't stolen just any plant, and it was as rare as Ayosha had said it was. <laughs> but what it fueled instead of cars was party time. The culmination of 30 years of hydroponic science and breeding, objectively the finest plant of its kind. It was so pure. Can't see these moves. You said there'd only be one old guy and a dog. Well, some guys are old, they could still see dogs. Uh, uh. If you told me the truth, I'd have packed better hardware. Not a whole island's after us. Uh, there you have to shoot with plant. Uh, you take my best gun, Tony. For great shooting success. Not all. I thought I had the biggest piece. Like shooting a cannon. If it was gold, it would be perfect. I will buy you a gold one, Tonya. Just get us out. Alyosha! Too many places for moose to hide. They could pop out anywhere. I need more hair gel. I'm gonna put a hole in your head.
Poor Tony. That don't mean you can't live right. Is this way, Tony? Just keep shooting. Come on, you know what these boots cost? They can buy many boots with plant. Tony, is this way? miles from home, Tony knew no one but a Russian who played fast and loose with the truth. He finally hit rock bottom, or he was sliding toward it fast. Here 
Didn't even know if he wanted to. This ain't fair. It ain't right. No money. Nobody who cares. Filthy dirty on my back. What are you looking at? It all gone up in smoke. What's with the white one? Where they run out of paint? Suffering of others, it's the only thing to cheer Tony up. It's no moon. 
It's a space station. Why would I lie to you? Do you hear this? What in the hell? He's fastest guy. I love him. Christ. The river was the only way out Tony had. The white water provided distance from his never-ending problems. No more. Tony! Stay along river! I will meet you at beach! Son of a bitch! You gotta get me iced over here!
person in this world who can reach Tony now. <gasps> Cherry? Tony? Your dad said he's been trying to reach you for days. He can't reach me here. You haven't listened to his messages? <laughs> he ain't never had nothing good to say to me. What's wrong with you, Tony? I don't like the way you sound. It's the end of the line out here, baby. I made a lot of mistakes. Listen, Tony, your father loves you. He didn't call to yell. He called to apologize. You what? And I miss you, Tony. Come home, okay? He never told me he was sorry all these years. He is, Tony. He's a mess without you here. I'm pretty messy, too. On the level? You're my number one, Tony. Number one? Yeah. With a bullet. You hold tight, baby. I'm coming home. Whoa, not so fast, man. You can't get away from bloodshot. Bloodshot! Now I get it! You're one of them albino guys! Yeah, man. What you think? Well, you know, with all of them plants you got, I just figured. That's racist, man. Offensive. Cause I's Jamaican means I gotta be redstone all at the time. You's an ignorant idiot. All right, I'm sorry! Too late for that now. <laughs> Take your time, get situated.
turn on. Come on, I ain't even got your plant no more. Tony had made it, against all odds. When the ships were down and he was on the rocks, he'd raised himself up by his strength and his determination. He, he wasn't a quitter. He was the man. Oh, ho ho! My ship has finally come in. Now where's that Russian prick? Maybe they got him. Tony! Run! Christ! Cools to us. Now you listen here, you Russian cheat. I'm done with your line of crap. Get this thing to Miami. My pop needs me. As you wish, we go directly to Miami. Your GPS is busted. That is no problem. I lost it on this GPS. We are just south of there. Nothing but water on the way. They were heading north, but there was a whole lot of trouble in their way. Back in the City of Angels, I was close to finally cracking my case. I'd used all my deductive skills to finally track down Vincent. Something in her sultry tone said my client was planning a special kind of bonus. Another case closed, and it sounded like a new case was about to fall into my lap. 